So I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new FCP-172A. Um, this is the latest iteration of my uh, uh, small aircraft control panel uh, built to uh, more or less mimic uh, the controls you would see in a Cessna 172. Um, you have a carb heat, throttle, mixture, and a flaps control. Uh, now, uh, if you're flying X-Plane, uh, X-Plane lets you assign uh, an analog axis to your carb heat. So uh, we have uh, the carb heat knob, uh, which will move a potentiometer uh, to allow us adjust that. Um, some aircraft, I know it's all on or all off. Uh, other aircraft, you can actually vary the amount of carb heat. Uh, now for Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, they don't let you use an analog axis for the carb heaps. Uh, they only use, let you use digital controls, a uh, push button, uh, like a, con a joystick button or a keyboard command. Um, so we put a couple of joystick buttons in here. If you push the carb heat past the past the end where the potentiometer um, ends, um, it'll actuate one button and if you pull it out and do the same thing it'll actuate another button so you can turn the carb heat on and off in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, now the uh, throttle I is uh, standard push-pull um, but we've added a brake uh, friction adjust knob really so that you can adjust the amount of tension that's on that knob and you could even lock it down so that the vibration of the engine uh, doesn't uh, uh, doesn't cause it to move. The uh, mixture control um, is actually a true vernier now. Uh, you can do a fine adjustment on your mixture by rotating the knob and as you can see you can't push pull uh, but if you push in the button that releases the uh, the brake and lets you move the control in and out in a course adjustment just like on the uh, the real aircraft uh, and then lastly we have our flaps control again for um, X-Plane, if you're flying X-Plane or many other flight simulators that allow you to use an analog control for flaps, we have that here. We've got a flaps control that has four detents and you can set them to, um, you know, what you want the aircraft to control. Um, uh, zero, uh, ten percent, twenty percent, full flaps, uh, or however your, your flight sim is set up. Uh, if you want to have more control over this and want to change the uh, you know the amount of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, flaps beyond those detents, you can disable the detent by simply moving this blue lever down. That releases the detent and lets you vary the uh, the uh, flaps control uh, potentiometer uh, by whatever degree you want. And then of course you just turn it back on to re-enable the uh, re-enable the detent. Now if you are flying Microsoft Flight Simulator, as you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't let you use an analog control for flaps, so we'll remove the, uh, the flaps le uh, lever and we'll move it over to here. And this uh, is an actual uh, push button. It's two push buttons, joystick buttons, up uh, for one push button and down for the other push button. So for Microsoft, uh, if you want to change your flaps, you'll go flaps up, 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 down, down, down. Um, it would be nice if Microsoft would allow an analog control for that, but uh, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, and this actually um, is just held in by a, a little screw. You, uh, it's not something you're probably going to be changing a lot. If you're going to fly Microsoft, you'll fly Microsoft and you'll leave it in this position. If you're going to fly X-Plane, um, you'll probably always fly X-Plane and you'll leave it in that position. So uh, I haven't made it that easy to get on and off. You do have to remove uh, a screw. Anyways, that's a, a quick overview. Um, also doing an FCP-182A, uh, which uses the same controls, except that it will have two vernier controls, a mixture and a prop pitch control, and then the first one will be the throttle, and it won't have a carb heat. Uh, and that's it. Thanks.